Hi Spit fans and welcome to this review of the Jibby Tour round this weekend in Bahrain. It was the penitentiary match round of the season and also it was the second time that we're on this track. And let's go for the top three and the top three of the weekend. Top three goes to Raffaele Monticello. It hasn't been his year completely uh, compared to last year with racing engineering and this year with Trident. We know that it's not easy for him, but he showed some good performance in the qualifying session with a P3 and a really good pace during all the weekend. And it ha doesn't happen that often. And uh, when you compare his performance compared to numerous teammates he had in Trident, which, uh, he shows that he is really the one carrying this team. And I really wish that Trident would sort their problems out or that Rafael and Marcello might go to another team, maybe Prema Power team. But I wish him to show what he can do on the track with a better car. Top 2 goes to Norman Nato. He was in the top 10 in qualifying session, which doesn't happen a lot. And the podium was even possible for him in race one, and here he's been victim of a puncture uh, following the incident with Alexander Rossi. And uh, it's really a shame for him because um, he could show, he could shine once again as he did in Hungary. And uh, even though he was dead last on the grid on race two, he managed to climb up to. P10, which is completely unbelievable with an Arden when you compare to his teammate uh, Andre Negarao, which was just nowhere to be seen this uh, this weekend. So I think uh, he can be proud of himself, and uh, in my opinion, I'm really proud of what Norman Nato achieved this weekend. And top one goes to ART. I'm putting GB3 aside because they are also champion this weekend in GB3, but the double podium they had with Stafford van Dorn winning the race and Matsushita being second and the other podium of Stafford van Dorn in race two uh, puts ART in the dynamic they had uh, earlier in the season and it's really good for them. Um, it's a bit of a shame for Matsushita in race two but I think uh, ART really needed this to end the season really well even if GP2 or even if GP3 even if they had the team uh, championship even if, if they claimed it uh, last week they still have Sabanogon who can uh, be champion in GP3 and we go with the flops and flop 3 goes to Alexander Rossi he was nowhere to be seen this weekend he didn't score any point in race 1 and he was evil, even involved in uh, an, accident, an incident and uh, this weekend in racing engineering it was Jordan King who really showed his potential and uh, when you see that Alexander Rossi doesn't have any race left with Maynard and that Maynard shows King to be there in the rookie test for them it's a bit of shame for him and he really needs to show a lot of things in the Abu Dhabi weekend first to keep his second place in the championship but also to prove Magna that he is legit to race with them as a titular driver for next year. Top so 2 goes to Pierre Gasly. It's been a Monza repeat for him clearly. He, went, he was on pole position like he was in Monza and here again the setup of the car was completely a mess with the first stint of race one so he lost a lot of places and on the second stint it was a bit better but not enough to um, keep his chances for the po of podium clearly um, it's a bit of a shame for him he showed a good pace again in race two but he clearly deserves this podium and this victory that is still missing for him and just remember that the last victory he scored was in Euro Cup in 2013 and flop one goes to Oliver Roland he, this weekend he was stepping up instead of uh, Richie's Tanaway for stages but he hasn't been this weekend he was 22nd on race one and he had a, a big crash and race two, I'm glad he's okay. 
But he didn't show the same impression that he did earlier in the season, like in Silverstone, when he managed to fight with Stoffel van Dorn with a Mainer MP car. That's a bit of a shame for the 3.5 champion, which really is better than he that what he showed this weekend in Bahrain. Picture of the weekend are the unusual spit stops we saw in race two. The ties just didn't last, especially if they were used ties at the beginning of the race, and drivers had to pit to have better ties for the the end of the race, and that is pretty unusual in um, in race two in the sprint race, which means that Pirelli still needs to work on these ties to make them last in Bahrain. So thank you for watching, I see you next week for the last rounds of GP2 and of Formula 1 in Abu Dhabi. Like, share, subscribe and see you under the jacket flag. Bye!